Hey sugar geeks, Liz here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some super easy buttercream flowers. These are perfect for putting on wedding cakes, cupcakes, and they're super simple to make. Coming up next on the Sugar Geek Show. Okay, so let's make some super easy buttercream flowers. It's kind of like the first kind of buttercream flower that you learn to make. And I'm just gonna let you know that you need to practice this probably about 10 or 15 times before you really get the feel for it. So don't expect to like keep that first beautiful buttercream flower because it's not gonna be beautiful. Like it's something that you really do need to get a feel for. So just keep in your mind, I'm gonna practice 15 buttercream flowers and just put them back in the bowl and then I will keep them so don't get attached to them. Let's talk a little bit about what you need to make a basic buttercream flour. Piping bags are really great. <laughs> you can either use disposable ones or ones that you keep and wash. I'm lazy so I use disposable. And I have two tips here. One is a 104 Wilton and one is a 102. They're basically the same tip. It's like a little skinny teardrop but one is a little bit smaller, but you don't have to have two. 104 is probably the most popular size. And because I'm using multiple tips, I have couplers. Couplers are things that you put inside of your piping bag so that you can switch tips out without pulling the tip out of the piping bag. So it's kind of nice and convenient, especially if you're doing multiple colors. I'll put a link to all of the equipment info in the blog post on sugareatshow.com. So then I like to pipe onto a flower nail. This is um, something that comes in the, the piping set or you can buy them individually. And the way this works is you actually pipe all of your flowers individually on top of this flower nail and then you transfer them to your cake. So when I first learned that I was like, oh, <laughs> like I thought people were like piping these flowers directly on the cake and I was like, how? No, you pipe them on the flower nail, you chill them and then you transfer them to the cake. And then we also have some parchment paper that we're gonna cut into little squares, maybe two inches by two inches or an inch and a half, depending on how big the flowers are. I have Swiss meringue buttercream here. A lot of people think that you can't use like a soft buttercream, but many, many people use Swiss meringue buttercream or easy buttercream to make flowers because they have like a nice shine to it. The key is you cannot hold it in your hand for like a long period of time. You only want enough buttercream that it's gonna fit in the palm of your hand so that you're not holding like this big bag of buttercream and it's getting warm and goopy and soft. Um, you can also use firmer buttercreams like American buttercream, but you're not gonna get as delicate looking of flowers. All right, and then let's talk about how we've prepared the buttercream. I have made my easy buttercream and then I let it mix on low for 15 minutes to get all the air bubbles out of it because if you don't do that, you're gonna have air bubbles in your buttercream and it looks really bad inside flowers. So definitely take the time to make it nice and smooth. I just have some here that's ready to color. I have a pan to put my flowers on. I've got my food coloring to color my flowers. I am using AmeriColor gel colors and I like them and they work really well. You may notice that if you're trying to make dark colors that you have to like let the buttercream sit overnight because it just darkens with time. Like put your food coloring in the buttercream, let it sit overnight and then look at it the next day. You do wanna use gel colors because the colors are more potent than like a liquid color that you just find at the grocery store. So if you started just putting liquid in there, you could have like a pastel, but really it's gonna just not do much of anything. All right, let's color our buttercream. I am remaking an old wedding cake. So I'm trying to kind of keep the design and the colors the same. So I'm working with some purple flowers. One of the things I didn't realize back in the day is that purple is made of many colors, <laughs> not just purple. If you were to add purple food coloring and you just add real purple, I'm making a fairly dark color. This is maybe a cup of buttercream and I've added a teaspoon of food coloring, which seems like a lot. <laughs> and then you mix that up and you're like, oh, it's like kind of a gray color. <laughs> it's not super pretty. And you can see how much food coloring I added and it's still very light. So now imagine if I was trying to make a dark purple, just like adding and adding and adding and it doesn't get darker. So you can't just keep adding food coloring because eventually you'll be able to taste it. So that's kind of our ugly purple. And now we're gonna add maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of electric pink. And this is what I call building colors. And the pink brings out the life of the purple. 
so it just looks like a, a true purple and not kind of a dull, lifeless purple. So we have like this nice color. It's your lesson on making purple buttercream. <laughs> All right, let's load our piping bag. Got this handy dandy plastic cup on loan for my four-year-old. Don't forget to put your coupler in because once your buttercream's in, you can't put the coupler in. <laughs> and push it down up as far as it will go and then make a mark with your scissors right below where the, um, the threads are. And then squeeze that coupler back up. And the reason we're doing this is so you don't accidentally cut too much off. So that's where you want it to be. And then I'm gonna take my 104 piping tip, put it right there, screw on the end. And now we have the piping bag ready to go. And then we're gonna put this into a cup and fold down the outside edges. Just start off with small amounts of buttercream. Okay, practice time. I'm gonna put a tiny little dab of buttercream in the center to hold down the parchment paper. And then you only really need to replace this buttercream every three, four flowers. And then you put the parchment on top. When you're making your buttercream flowers, there's a thick part of the piping tip and a thin part. The thick part goes in the center. The thin part goes around the outside and that makes the thin part of the petal. And what we're going to be doing is creating the petal by turning our piping tip. And as you practice this, you'll figure out like ways that feel most natural to you. But you're gonna start squeezing and turning the flower. And then I kind of like push towards the center to sort of stop piping. And then you're gonna come around, do another one, and then push towards the center. If I did four petals, this would be a hydrangea. <laughs> so there's our little basic flower. So I'm going to place this onto the sheet pan here. This is going to go in the freezer once it's all full. So when I first tried this, I wasn't exactly sure how much to squeeze. And I like went like that. And I had really fat like bases. It was like a really chunky flower. <laughs> so I mean, that's a look you can go for that. <laughs> but it's not quite as delicate, you know, as like the smaller flower. So definitely how hard you pipe makes a difference. And that's why I really want you to practice 15 times. I'm gonna do a few of these, maybe like 10 or so, and then I'm gonna switch colors. I'm trying to keep the center of my piping tip in the center of the flower. Squeezing, turning, and then coming back to the center. And then when I start my second petal, I kind of come underneath squeezing, turning, back to the center. If your buttercream gets too warm in your hand or it's just too warm in your environment, I would just switch to another bag. So you can just work on multiple colors at once. All right, so now I'm gonna switch my piping tip to the smaller one, unscrew my coupler, put my one all two on. So you see how that's that's really nice to be able to, to switch that. And now I can just make slightly smaller ones. Adorable. And I'm seriously barely squeezing, like it does not take very much effort. And the reason buttercream flowers are so great, it, once you get comfortable making them, is it's a heck of a lot faster than making gum paste flowers, which is what I typically do. And buttercream is like a new trend, you know? Well, I mean, it's not new. It's coming back. <laughs> Buttercream is very popular again. You can see I'm not even really turning, I'm not even really moving my piping hand. I'm just moving the nail. So when you're using buttercream and you're coloring it, you always wanna think about your color palette. So I don't wanna like go with red because red and purple kind of is clashing. A good way to, to stay within your color palette is to either look at a color wheel and see which colors you know, kind of go, are in the same area and those will all go together. But what I like to do is start with the darkest color and then add other colors to that so I know that I'm staying within this color wheel. So I could add some white and have just a lighter color of purple. I'm gonna wash out my piping tips. 
Making buttercream flowers is a great activity to do while you're watching Netflix. <laughs> Let's say you run out of buttercream in your piping bag. It's completely empty and you wanna add more. Um, like this one, let's say it's empty and you wanna add more. Your buttercream's gonna be kind of up here in this upper part of the piping bag and there's gonna be all this air down here and then there's gonna be a piping tip on the end that also has buttercream in it. So you just want to make sure that you um, hold the top of your bag here and squeeze until all of that air is out or you'll get things called pops while you're piping your butter, your buttercream flowers and they'll just like, like blow out a petal. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish making my purple flowers and then I'm gonna make a few white ones as well and put these all on my tray to freeze until they are solid. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes and then they're ready to put onto my cake for my wedding cake redo. That's everything though. These buttercream flowers are seriously so easy to make. Even my producer can make them. There, those ones look actually uh, like That actually looks like real petals. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Literally anybody could do Yay. this. <laughs>